Hi everyone, Jacob from Children's Museum Houston. I am in the Chevron Maker Annex, and today we're gonna do a nice and fun making activity while we create a classic children's toy called, funnily enough, the Jacob's Ladder. So let's go ahead and make. Okay, for this project, what you're going to need is some cardboard. So I just have a nice scrap piece of cardboard here, some ribbon, tape, and scissors. And the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna cut the cardboard into little squares. And it doesn't really matter what size square you have, you just want them all to be the same size. I think I'm gonna go with two inches by two inches. So I can use my little measuring thing here to look at the two inches mark and just cut across and once you have a single square you can pretty much just use that square to measure the rest of the squares out so two inches here and now I can just measure the rest of my squares with that first square and the amount of squares you need to have, you want at least, you want at least four, and you can kind of go up to five or six or even more if you want. Um, but I'm gonna go with four for my Jacob's Ladder just to keep it somewhat simple. And it's not always easy cutting this cardboard with the, uh, the small scissors, so if you have a bigger pair of scissors at home, you can ask for an adult's help and they can help you cut it a little bit easier than this. Um, but it is doable with the smaller scissors. All right, I now have four squares that are about the same size, two inches by two inches by two inches. You can tell it does not have to be perfect. It does not have to be perfect. The more square and perfect it is, the better it's gonna look, um, but it'll work just fine with something like this. So if you wanna use a paper and pencil and trace out your squares and make sure they're perfectly sized, I encourage that, go for it. So what we're going to do now is we are going to take the, uh, the pieces of ribbon and you really want the ribbon basically to be two of these squares. So you can use the squares to measure them out. You want it to be twice the length of one square. So two of these squares and then cut the ribbon. And you're going to need I think about three ribbons per square minus three. So I have four squares, three ribbons per square would be 12, then minus three would be nine. So we need nine pieces of ribbon that are all roughly the size of two of our squares here. All right, so we have nine pieces of ribbon. We have four cardboard squares. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take three pieces of ribbon per square, and what you're gonna do is tape two on one side of the square, kind of like this. So you'll take the tape and tape one on this side. And then you'll make sure you also tape one on this side, just like that. And then you'll also tape one in the middle on the other side. So just like this. So two on the corners on one side and then one in the middle on the other side. And you're gonna do that for all well, actually, not all four. You're gonna do that for three of your cardboard squares here. Not all four, there's gonna be one without any. All right, so now that you have your ribbons all taped to your squares, you're gonna take one of your squares and lay it face down so that the ribbon side is down. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold the ribbons over like this, all three of them over so that they kind of are going the opposite way. 
And then you're gonna take one of your squares and what you wanna do is you wanna lay it down so that whichever direction has the two ribbons now, you want the one with the one ribbon on that side. And same thing over here, whichever direction has the one ribbon, you want the two ribbons of your new square on that side. Then you're gonna take the shorter ribbons, the ones from the first square, and you're going to tape them to your second square. And you wanna make sure you don't want it to be, you want it to be tight, but you don't want it to be too tight. You want a little bit of slack. So hopefully this is gonna be enough slack. Um, and then make sure that you get them going over the edge like that. So we have these first two going over the back edge and then the last one going over this front edge. And then basically all we do is that over and over again. We fold over the one that is sitting here we place a new one down so that it looks like there's three ribbons on each side, one sh short ribbon on one side with, a, with a, two long ribbons on the edge and then two short ribbons on this side with one long ribbon in the middle. Fold over, over the short ribbons and tape them to your square. Short ribbon, fold it over. You don't want it to be too tight. You don't want to pull it so tight that it's not going to be able to move, but you want it to uh, be tight enough that it's not so far distant in between. And then we only have to do it one more time. And this time, we don't have to even look at the ribbons. You just fold them over. We have the one square without any ribbons on it. And we're going to put that one down and tape the ribbons to it to finish our Jacob's Ladder. Now, if you had more squares, you could keep going and going and going like this. Um, I wouldn't suggest doing it too much because eventually it'll get kind of chaotic with so many ribbons and tape, but you can, you can add more squares to this. It doesn't have to be just four. It can be five, six, seven, eight, however many you need. And we're just gonna tape them there. Last one. All right. Now that you've completed building your Jacob's Ladder, let's see how it works. And what is gonna happen is these ribbons and the way that they connect the ladder together lets the ladder flip over one box, then the next box, and then the next one in a way that seems almost like magic. It's very mesmerizing. So you can mess around, make sure you have enough slack. I actually, you can see right here, there's not quite enough slack between these two. So that's the kind of thing that you wanna tinker with to make it work as smooth as possible. Uh, so I wanna thank you all for joining me today. I am Jacob. This is the Jacob's Ladder, no relation, here in the Chevron Maker Annex and Children's Museum, Houston. I'll see you all next time.